Hello and welcome to Conversational AI using IBM Watson X. Hi, my name is Vivian Arana and I'm going to walk you through this video. First, let's talk about all the different components that we'll be using. I'll be using two main components inside IBM Cloud. One is Watson X Assistant and the other one is Watson Discovery. Now let's talk about IBM Watson Discovery. IBM Watson Discovery is an AI powered tool that helps users process unstructured documents and identify trends, patterns and actionable insights. It uses trained methods to understand text and can make large amounts of data searchable in a short time. Watson Discovery can also help users first train AI to understand content including tables and images, find relevant answers using natural language or structured queries, three, surface insights, four, build AI enhanced business processes. Next, let's look at IBM Watson X Assistant. IBM Watson X Assistant is a conversational AI technology that helps businesses create chatbots and other applications to interact with customers. It uses machine learning, natural language understanding, and an integrated dialogue editor to create conversation flows between apps and users. Watson X Assistant is intuitive and can be deployed anywhere. It can improve customer experience, resolve inquiries more efficiently, and reduce delivery time and development costs. In this particular project, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Watson X Assistant to which a user can talk to and discuss about. In our case, we are going to talk about vacations as usual and the user will ask about different places in a particular city that he's planning to visit. And instead of providing information, which we did in the last uh, step where we just only used Watson X Assistant and guided the user through the steps, in this particular case, we will use Watson Discovery to access our knowledge base that is available, which I will be providing through a bunch of documents and Watson Discovery will take that document and create a knowledge base and answer all the questions that the user asks through Watson X Assistant. So let's get started. So the first thing that you would need to start with this project or follow along is an IBM Cloud account. So hopefully you have one. If not, I would recommend you to sign up for one. And then here I can actually go and click on create resource. In this particular case, let's first start with Watson X Discovery. So I'm going to just search for Discovery. Now there's 250 products, that's why it's easier to kind of click and search and click for one. And in here, now I have I have it in Sydney. I'm gonna change that to let's say Washington DC. I have red and create. I'm using this pricing plan 500 USD per instance per month. That's the one that I'm using. Once it creates my Watson X Discovery instance. I am going to launch Watson X Watson Discovery. Once it launches, it has a sample project inside here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call it Destinations for Vacation. And there's different types of project: intelligent document processing, document retrieval, conversational search, or content mining. So there's different options here. I'm going to select intelligent document processing next and let it call whatever it needs to call i don't care about that name say language is english and i need my files so i'm going to select all these files open them and upload them it's going to take a couple of seconds i guess it was pretty quick and it uploaded all the files next there's more processing options here apply optical character recognition which is OCR I don't need that because I don't have any images but if you have any images it can also read through images use streaming instead of lamentization so I'm going to use lamentization I don't need streaming for this particular case if you don't know it so discovery uses lamentization to normalize words in the index and queries based on their meaning so I'm going to say finish and it's going to take some time to process whatever we have uploaded so while it does that I'm going to go ahead and go to my IBM Cloud and this time I'm going to create a resource which is Assistant. 
So once I open Watson X Assistant here, I'm going to select the same Washington DC region, select the free one and create. Now that my assistant has been created, I'm going to launch. And it says create your first assistant. Here I'm going to call this assistant, I'm going to call vacation assistant description. I'm going to leave it since it's optional. Next, how does it look like? Tell us what your assistant, where your assistant will live. It's going to be web, so I'm going to leave web. It looks like this. Uh, I will select, I am doing it for hospitality. I am doing it for as a lead, uh, lead strategist and I want to provide confident answers. Next, how does it look? It's called assistant. As a vacation assistant standard light give some random colors just for the fun of it size IBM bot mark I don't need it next it will look like this and you can start chatting directly here or you can just say create and let's go to the next steps so first, let's go ahead and build actions. If you have not seen my uh, assistant video, I would say you would probably want to see that because I'm going to skip through it. Those some of the steps that I'm going to do here. For example, I'm going to directly go into build actions. I'm going to create an action, start from scratch, and the user in this case will say vacation planning. Save. You can also say tell me about a particular location what do you think about a city vacation help me understand vacation spots bunch of different these are good enough for now I'm gonna to go to my conversation steps now assistant will say tell me what you need to know for which city something like this and the customer in this case will send some free text and now to connect it to our Watson X uh, where is our okay so it looks like it already set up my data all the data ha has been extracted from uh, the from by discovery from my files that I've uploaded so now I can say here search for an answer but before even searching for this answer, let me save this. Go back in here. I have to go into integrations and integrate the search capability. So I'm going to scroll down here where it says extensions search and add this. And in this particular case, it will ask me search up, uh, set up a new search integration. Do you want to use Elasticsearch? That's one option. You can use Watson Discovery, and that's what we are doing right now, or custom search. I'm going to say Watson Discovery instance name is probably pick that up and destinations for vacations that's what we'll select press next now here based on the data it might work might not work but we don't care about that right now it has all our settings up here perfect and i'm going to say save once i save it i can go back to my actions select that vacation planning I have this already added where it's going to search for an answer when the user asks for something about a particular city. I'm going to add another step here and this step I'm going to say re-ask the previous step which is this one so it's going to keep on going in a loop so we can test out different scenarios. Let's make sure that's good. Let's look at our visualization. Looks perfectly fine. It goes through this and then goes back here. Perfect. So let's go back and look at our preview. So here, welcome, how can I assist you? Vacation. Ask me, tell me what you need to know for which city. Tell me one of the best places to visit in Jaipur. Now it's gonna go ahead and try to look for any answers here, nope. So it's gonna go and search and it says, here is a list of the most famous tourist locations in Jaipur and it says Amber Fort or Amber Fort is the place where you can go. 
tell me what you need to know for which city. I'm going to go ahead and click on preview again to try one more time. Vacation. Tell me what you need to know and which city. Tell me places I can visit in Madrid. Now it's going to give me a better answer. Of course, it took a little bit time, but now if you see, it gives me better option based on the data it has. I can also ask, tell me one top location in Paris. And it says the Eiffel Tower is the most famous tourist location in Paris, which you probably know. You can also open this and see where it got the data from or which file. I can say if you have to pick three destinations in Europe, where should I go? I cannot find an appropriate answer for that because I have not provided anything about Europe. I have given some cities in Europe, but let's change to, let's say, what other location do I have over there? Let's look at Tokyo. Where uh, give me top three locations in Tokyo. Let's see if it gets something from that file. Tokyo Tower. Perfect. So it gave me three different places Tokyo Tower, Sensoji Temple, and Shibuya Crossing. So that's perfect. So this is how you can go ahead and make sure that you can connect. Uh, or create a chat assistant or a conversational AI assistant with the knowledge base that you have by uploading them into your discovery and getting that data provided through integrations through our assistant right here is what we did and create a simple question answer assistant and it will fetch data from your database or data knowledge base and provide you the right answers. If you have any questions or had any issues while following along, let me know and I can help you out.